I just want to get the record straight real quick. You know, this video is painting, but if you saw the intro, I built this, oh, this gorgeous workbench. This is kind of like one of these modular kind of upgrades to the studio I've been wanting to make. I, I'm going to do a lot in that room. That's why it's empty, but this was on the list. You know, I got the surface area all around kind of the painting area. Um, but I, I, I love surface area. I think it's important. So I want to put this island right in the middle and it's just gorgeous It could hold an ox, you know, it's super sturdy. It fits this like exacto cutting. It's just awesome I love it. It's gonna hopefully help the workflow But today we're uh, we're gonna paint some canvases and Let me start by saying that the, I was at the art store and they had this clearance deal for six of these 10 by 10 inch wooden panels for $15, and my goodness, I'm not gonna pass up that deal. That's about $2.50 per panel. And I had the cool idea of kind of, you know, priming them, prepping them, making a short little video, posting on Instagram, and kind of saying that I'm gonna do $200 portraits. Um, I thought that'd be a really cool idea to connect with people. Certainly tremendous practice for myself, six oil paintings. I love oil painting. I love painting naturalistically, more specifically kind of portraiture. And then on top of that, you know, more serious oil paintings that I do of dogs, of people's pets, or of people. They kind of range from $500 to $700, so this is a more affordable price for people if they're interested in obtaining an original painting by myself. So those are all the reasons. Um, and I thought it was a cool idea. And who knows if people will be interested in this or not, or like what they want. Well, they want a cat, they want a dog, they want a little gecko, they want a little rabbit. <laughs> wow, I love to rant. I'm pretty excited. I'll update you soon. All right, a little update. I posted the video on Instagram kind of telling people about the canvases. Got a bunch of DMs. And I got a bunch of inquiries. So yeah, I got probably like 40 DMs about interested in doing the, the panels. They asked how much. I said 200 and I got a bunch of people that said that's great. And I actually had to tell a whole bunch of people that they sold out. And I actually added two more. So uh, now I got eight panels. I got eight oil paintings to do. That's a lot of painting, but I'm super gracious that people were interested. You know, if I sold them for $400, would I be able to sell eight? I don't know. If I sold them for 100, would I be, you know, devaluing myself? These are things you, you kind of contemplate in my position as an artist um, offering commissions and then people asking. So it's a nice balance, but I'm super happy with the pictures people have sent me. I think we got six dogs and two human beings. I think I could have guessed that it was going to be mostly pups, but I'm super excited. We're going to finish prepping and we're going to, we're going to get on to it. Let's begin. beautiful pups, but it's six total dogs, two human beings. I'm just starting with these three for no particular reason. My goodness, that's that's a lot of painting. I don't know how long it's gonna take, probably a while, but it's super exciting. They're gonna get all the love and attention they deserve. I'm not just gonna do one, finish it and move to the next. I'm gonna strategize. I'm gonna kind of do all eight first layer, and then I'm gonna do a second pass and then do the final details. So they're painted kind of all at the same pace, if you get what I'm saying. But we kind of got to get cranking, so I'm going to set up the oil paints, the brushes, the mediums, all the accoutrements, get my setup looking jazzy, and more importantly, efficient. I'm very excited. Look at these beautiful pups. All right, I'm wearing a sweatshirt for the first time in the studio in quite a while. So that's exciting, I guess. Uh, let's begin.
macaroni. I finished all eight first layers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bam. Here's all the eight photo references. It took so long to finish this. I thought I was never going to end. It was about an hour and a half, two hours per painting for the first stage layer, getting the canvas or panel completely filled with paint. In the past three days, I've kind of been banging these out. Some are more developed than others. I'm going to line them all up so you can see, and we'll talk about them real quick. Boom. Just like that, I got a haircut and it's the morning now. There's better light to display these paintings. And I just want to take you through where I'm at kind of with completing the first layer of these eight paintings, you know? So obviously I want to stick towards the reference as much as I can so that it looks like my subjects, but specifically with these human beings, you want to take your time to get those proportions right, the shapes, everything correct. Cause we as people are so easily able to recognize and identify two eyes, nose, and a mouth on a shape of a head as another human being. And so if something is slightly off or wrong, it really won't look correct. And we'll be able to tell with dogs and animals and you know, things like that, you can kind of get away with not nailing the proportions exactly because of the different breeds, the different snout, ears, everything. There's so many different types that it's not as easy recognizable. But again, I want to stick to the reference. I want it to look obviously like what I was given, but there's also points where I take liberties as an artist and change some things. Not much with the proportions of the shape of the face or anything, but more with the background. So you can tell with this one, background's kind of very saturated, which it does look on the reference, but it's almost, you know, abstract and cartoonish, the background, and then a very stylized, illustrative, painterly styled dog, which I really like. This is a little more developed than say this dog or this dog or this dog. Again, the background here, a more developed fur, also with just a mint flat background. I really liked that, how it worked out. It just so happened to work with that composition. And as an artist, I made that decision. So we got a lot of work to do, obviously. This black dog looking sexy, just dark black browns and purples and blues with a white background. Very interesting. This is a unique painting and just stuff to do. I did a bunch of color mixing, learned a lot actually within, you know, kind of the 15 hours that I worked on these, but that's just where I'm at. And we're going to move forward. A nice foundation down for all of these and we're going to move forward. I finished all the other ones. This is the last final details, moving a few things around, highlights. It's the final pass of the final commission, the final painting, wow. All right, so we're gonna do this and we'll talk about all of them, lay them out and wrap it up. So this is quite a precarious display all stacked on top of each other, but we're finished. I'm so happy we're done. I was actually pretty stressed out for a lot of this process. It's quite different than doing one commission. That's all you have to focus on. You could obsess over it. Um, you know, doing eight is, is something I've never done. And there's a lot of pressure on me, you know, regardless of the amount of money they paid, I personally have to put in a certain amount of work to each canvas to where I think it's complete, to where I think it's acceptable to give back to the client. That was a lot of work and I had eight to 
to do, you know? So it was the most I've ever painted in like a week, nine day span, I said. And I, I just learned quite a bit, you know, not only oil painting, mixing all these colors, all the different batches of colors and the brushwork and different textures, but also how to like deal with clients and communicating with them. And, you know, also prioritizing my oil painting schedule and the workflow and all that, all that jazz. So it was quite a big learning curve and experience for myself. I don't think I'll do an eight painting flash sale anytime soon, but I'm glad I did this one. I'm glad I finished, you know, the emotional roller coaster. Just, you got to know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel as long as you put in the work and that, you know, the, the end goal to pulling the tape back at the end, exposing this beautiful wood on the panels. It was just made everything worth it. And I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm sending them out tomorrow. That's all I got. You know, if you have questions about the process or anything specific, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Stay tuned. I got a bunch of oil painting projects planned, but also some super secret classified epic stuff. So you're not going to want to miss it. Subscribe, stay tuned, smash a like for this. You know, I put in a lot of work and also with this video and everything. So see you in the next video.